How's it going everybody? t here and we got some new stuff from Super 7. We got the Misfits Fiend Super Bucket from Super 7 and we got the Glow in the Dark Jerry Only to check out today, which is pretty cool. And um, like I said, I've always been a Misfits fan since about 6th grade when my um, best friend Dustin, uh, years ago, this is about 89, 90, uh, lent me the, um, he lent me the Legacy of Brutality cassette. It was uh, pretty much, I had all the, I guess all the, the names to the songs were like scratched off, all the titles and stuff were scratched off, it had just been run through the ringer, and um, and that was how, I, you know, I got introduced to the Misfits, and I fell in love with them, and been a fan ever since, but um, yeah, I've, I've listened to them for quite a long time, but anyways, without all that nonsense blabbing, we're going to check this out, because this, um, let me go ahead and rip it out of the plastic, because it's a fresh brand new super bucket. Cool, and uh, it's yeah, made for your Halloween trick or treating fun, so that's pretty cool. The Super Buckets logo right there, if you can see it, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a fiend. It's like, uh, if you would have this would have been out back in the day, back in the late 80s, early 90s, I would have flipped, but yeah, of course, we didn't have cool stuff like that back then. I paid about 18 for it. Spooky Sweet Storage Super Buckets for Ghostly Guys and Gals. That's pretty awesome. And the detail's great. A real nice sculpt. And if you can notice, it's purple. All the dark detail of the skull is purple, so that's pretty neat. Nice shading all around. 2019 copyright. And yeah, you can hold a lot of candy. So probably what I'm going to do, Halloween, probably going to dress up... Um, Fill this thing up with candy, maybe go to the local bar, drink. Maybe I want to go see a show because The Locusts, a uh, really great band. Look them up on um, YouTube, The Lo the Locusts, and uh, check them out because they're playing Halloween night here in Austin. So I'd kind of like to go see them for sure. And uh, yeah, maybe give out candy while I'm out downtown if that happens because I know I asked off for it. And uh, yeah, it'd be cool. And here's a Jerry Only Glow in the Dark version. Pretty nifty. Unpunched. But we're going to go ahead and uh, rip them out, check them out. And we're going to go see how uh, bright he actually glows. Let's so go ahead and uh, get them out, break them out from this coffin. And they released a bunch of figures. The Minotaur, the Slayer Minotaur, Goatman or whatever. Uh, Glow in the Dark version. Um, the War Pig from Motorhead. Papa Meritus. And I believe that was it for this wave. But I couldn't pick them all up, so I just grabbed uh, grabbed good old Jerry. And um, yeah, a lot of people want a Doyle, a lot of people want a Danzig, which would be nice. That'd be really sweet and keen if they would do that. At least a Doyle, I don't know. And maybe like an old school Danzig, or even just like a new school. I mean, not new school, but more like the Danzig band era Danzig, which would be cool. But let's go ahead and uh, pop off these lights and see how bright Jerry actually glows. That's not bad. Not super bright detail, but yeah, that's not bad at all. Let's try that again and see if we can do this. See how this works. Let's close the door a little bit and try it again. Let's see if we can glow a little bit brighter. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's a little bit better. But yeah, there's Jerry only glowing. That's pretty cool back a little bit not so much but yeah that's pretty cool so now I have a glow-in-the-dark Jerry only to add to my glow-in-the-dark collection of uh, Super 7 stuff it's pretty neat and yeah this is my like pre Halloween Super 7 pickup so yeah this is pretty cool and I'm stoked to have this bucket this pretty much sends me back to the childhood like kind of nostalgia I remember uh, McDonald's used to have a Halloween Happy Meal like little bucket pail you get and that totally takes me back to this and um i don't even think it needs to be halloween i think you could just uh this could just hang out in your display collection whatever all year long in the house all year long just awesome and it's weird at, at my parents house and growing up uh throughout all the holidays like and not even the holidays just all the time there's always like candy because you know some people like even old folks back in the day had like a bowl of hard candy my parents always have like a bowl of like some snickers or something like that or two musketeers or some dum-dums or something like that but uh 
but yeah so yeah there you go and why not like i was saying all year round have some candy out to rot your teeth and give you diabetes but yeah that's pretty cool it's a pretty wicked jerry only too well, i thought that was cool because i didn't i never noticed that when this first came out that there was uh the total of the fiend in the back of his hood just like in the Michael Graves area costume and stuff like that, which is pretty neat, but yeah, pretty awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching y'all and uh, more reviews coming up. Got some new O'Neill design uh, figures coming up. They brought the armor boards back, so it's pretty cool. And that should be within the week or so maybe. And hopefully tomorrow we're gonna check out some uh, Motu Origins figures, the He-Man and Prince Adam set, which would be awesome if I get them. Then uh, yeah, we'll check them out tomorrow. Once again, thanks for watching, y'all. And, uh, yeah, go to Super7.com or Super7 store to purchase these. And, uh, yeah, they're cool. I think they're worth it. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. All right, later. Peace.